Beef fat powder allows me to use modern cooking techniques to incorporate dry aged flavor to a tartare. So I added tapioca maltodextrin to beef fat. First, I take dry aged beef scraps, render them down in a saute pan, strain the scraps from the fat, allow to cool slightly, and then I add the tapioca maltodextrin. And I like to use my hands so I could feel the consistency that I'm looking for. Not too soft, but also not too dry that it just falls apart in your mouth. I've made all sorts of powders using tapioca maltodextrin, but my favorite is N Zorbit M because the texture and consistency is the best. But you could try it with the others and see what consistency works for you. I do two different types of rice crackers with this. One is forbidden rice with a little bit of squid ink, and then white jasmine rice with beet powder. I dehydrate it overnight at 135 degrees. Once it's pulled from the dehydrator, I fry it in oil that is at 375 degrees. This is our summer edition of beef tartare, mixed with a charred strawberry relish, pickled mustard seeds, a soy yuzu dressing. I plate this dish with the beef fat powder directly on the meat, finished with the rice chips, watermelon radish, then I use black garlic aioli, petite bull's blood to garnish, and then dust it with beet powder and leek ash. This beef fat powder allows me to use modern cooking techniques to incorporate this flavor into this dish.